guys, welcome to another episode of Advice with Alex and Friends, the podcast. I'm your host, Alex, and I'm joined by a special guest today. Uh, my name is Ayomi. Yeah. And um, let's do your socials really quickly before I okay, forget. Okay, cool. Um, that's socials. So, like, your Instagram? Oh, my Instagram, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, it's um, Ayomi Harden. Is your, your, that's your name, just that's, Ayomi yeah, Harden? Yeah, oh, that's, yeah. Do you know what? That's nice. To be fair, you have a nice name anyway, yeah, so it's yeah, okay. Yeah. Easy to remember. Easy to remember, yeah. Ayomi Harden. And you're not on Twitter or anything? No, I don't, I can't, I don't know how to use Twitter. It's okay. <laughs> you're, you're not an old man, you know? No, I don't, I'm, I'm serious. I, you know, I've tried to use Twitter for years, yeah? I've tried, no, I created the account. <laughs> I upload the pictures, but it was just too much for me. Everyone tweet like every two seconds. Yeah. I can't keep up. Okay. Yeah. No, you do. I feel like, oh my gosh, this is another week where I'm talking about Twitter. <laughs> um, With Twitter, like, or any social media, you don't have to like stay logged in. No, I, I mean, I've used Snapchat. I've used, um, obviously, Instagram. Yeah, yeah. Facebook. I don't get Twitter. Yeah. I don't. Every, At all, you don't understand it? I don't understand it. It doesn't make sense. Nope. Okay, fair enough. Quite a few people. But I think my account is there somewhere. <laughs> yeah, it's just just gathering dust. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's life. To be fair, I, I say it all the time. I don't take it seriously. Mm. I just have social media, and um, I have to be active on social media for the sake of the yeah, podcast, the, really. Yeah, of course. But some of them, like you said, are more user friendly than others. I agree. I feel like with Instagram, although they've they've changed everything now. Did you see that? Like, yeah, you know what? Even Instagram, yeah, they're slightly. Um, you know, I'm not get, I'm not interested anymore because Ooh. I can't use uh, all the features. Just can't use them. What features? Okay, for example, um, when you go on the the is it the live? The live. Thing, yeah, yeah, like yeah. where you can record for I think as long as you want. Is it as long or is it for yeah. five minutes? Oh, which one? The live. I I don't. I know. I think the live is for as long as you want it to be. Oh yes, yeah, so yeah, I didn't. Yeah. I don't know how to use that. Yeah, I, um, I didn't. I did not. I didn't that. know how to use it. I had to. Um, I was on the radio and I was like, "Oh, I want to do a live," oh, but I didn't know how, and I didn't want to ask. <laughs> so then <laughs> I was on Google. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, um, there's this. Is it called boob, um, boomerang or what is it boomerang, called? Boomerang. Yeah. Boomerang. Yeah. Where I didn't know you had. To, you have to have an app. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm. So <laughs> I've taken the picture and I'm like, how do I do the little? You know effect yeah so i'm like I, so I thought okay people do it when they're taking the picture oh, okay so I, <laughs> I was like i started doing it and i was like my friend is like no that's not you. that's I, not how it works that's not how it works that so ain't, that ain't it. all these new features on instagram I, I, I mean i understand why because like facebook has got um obviously stories and mm-hmm. things like that so well yeah they're all competing with each other yeah. to do Pretty much the same thing. But anyway, Instagram's owned by Facebook, isn't it? So I guess whenever yeah. Facebook does something or Instagram does something, they try and sync up the platforms yeah, together. Yeah. But um, yeah, they're all competing to have what people about, on there for the longest. What about Snapchat? The new the new update? Um, not not recently, but when they changed everything. What did they change it to? Because um, I, mean, I can't keep up. Yeah, you know what I mean? I didn't... Even some people didn't even update their Snapchat. Mm. Just left it as the old version. Yeah, maybe my one's the old version. Yeah, maybe yours is the old version. I just let I I leave it until the phone updates it itself. Like it says, oh, physically okay. you can't. Okay. That's how I am because I can't keep up with all of these changes that are unnecessary. Yeah. yeah. But um, I noticed on Instagram that um, like they moved the followers. So you know, before it used to be like massive. Yeah. Had this many followers. <laughs> that many followers. Yeah. Now yeah, yeah. you know it gives all of your information. And at the bottom, small line, yeah. you have many followers. So because most people are just dying because they don't have. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they don't have. They don't have that much followers. Followers, no, but, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, Insta- I prefer to use Instagram and Facebook. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Snapchat. Mm. Yeah, it's what I've, for me with Snapchat. I've got like um, just like close my close people. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I use it. And when I was away, I really liked using Snapchat in terms of like not necessarily me posting, but me seeing what other people are posting. Yeah. So, you know, if somebody goes to a wedding or there's a family event or whatever and I'm not there, it feels like I'm yeah, there because yeah. they everybody's snapping Everyone's and whatever. Snapping. So that I like it in that sense. <laughs> yeah, I just I just clocked what you said. It feels like I'm there. Yeah. Instead of going. No, because I, I, I couldn't physically be there. Sometimes I wasn't always able to so go. So you're there flicking. Yep, I'm there. I'm yeah, there. I'm there. I'm there. I'm 
I'm there, you know, when people are saying that this happened, yeah, I saw that. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm in the loop. Wow, wow. But if I didn't see it, that's, um, a, that's, a, that's a good enough reason. Then yeah, I mean, pictures, pictures don't explain to you what yeah, was true. taking place, it's and with true. videos, it can it be can, long. Yeah, it's but true. snapping, you know, people just snap like. It's true. It's true. But do you feel like that takes? In fact, and before I get into this, like, let me do my social media. As oh, well. go okay, on. Okay, so on. <laughs> follow the podcast at Advice with Alex on Instagram and Twitter as well, and you can follow me personally on from alexandra x on twitter instagram um and you can also follow me on snapchat if you feel like it as well um so yeah do you feel that like when people have got their phone yeah like constantly snapping things recording things do you feel like that takes away from the experience what do you mean by taking the experience? so say for example you're at a wedding yeah. or it could be anything a concert let me say a concert for yeah, example yeah, yeah? Like, when you're recording, do you feel like that takes away from the experience, like, that person's experience at um, the concert? Um, I don't I don't think it would take away the experience. I think, um, of course, a lot of people nowadays want to capture every moment. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And they don't... So, you can go back and look at it for memories mm-hmm. and things like that. So, I think it's a beneficiary, you know, where, obviously, with social media, where, obviously, you can capture every moment. Yeah. So I think I think I think it's I think it's a good thing. You're here for it. Yeah, I'm, I'm there for it. I I don't agree. Do you agree? When Why I was, not? When I went to go and see Beyonce, yeah. I was there doing this. Yeah. And then I looked at the screen. Yeah. And I looked at the stage yeah. and I was like, this this could not first and foremost, I feel like they put something on the screens. Okay. So that you can't capture the moment as it is. Like the videos of the event did not do it justice. What do you mean? Like, when you're recording it? Yeah, when you're recording it, I feel like they put something on the screen to, like, not make it as clear on your phone. Oh, wow. Because when you're watching it, when I was, like, I was, like, her set obviously is amazing. Yeah. Like, I was in awe and whatever. But when I'm recording it on my phone, I'm like, I had to put my phone away. I was like, you know what? I've had enough. I'm just going <laughs> to enjoy this as it well, is. I mean, I mean, you can just quickly do it. Like, what, two minutes, five minutes, here and there? Mm-mm. You no, know. but some people say the whole event just walking around with their phone like yeah, this. Yeah, I don't. I'm not not that. Yeah, if you yeah. if you're saying it like that, then yeah, that's a big distraction. Yeah, obviously, if it's a little, yeah, bit, you're, it's you're okay. wasting your money. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, you, you are. You're you not are. going to a concert to look at your phone. Well, people do these yeah, I know, days. I know. People go to places and events to take Especially, pictures. Especially, um, did you see the Davido concert? Mm-mm. I didn't go either, but. Yeah, everyone's with the phones out. When was that? The one that last year? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Okay, yeah, and yeah. he brought out like Burner Boy and yeah. I was upset. Yeah. No, 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 actually, no, no, he no. Brought, he that was out. this year. Is that it? was this year. Oh, no, so I'm thinking I'm of One Day Cold. I'm not up to date. I'm not up to date. No, I'm thinking of One Day Cold. David, D- David was this year. David was this year. Yeah, he brought yeah. out, um, is it Trauma and Idris? Okay. Yeah, I think it was this year, yeah. Yeah. So everybody was just snapping. Everyone was just, everyone's phone was You're just right. Snapping. People, see, oh, with my gosh, but crazy. I'm not mad. You know why? Because it feels like I'm there. Yes, yeah. come and snap the whole thing for me. But it's, but it's true. But like, five, six people on my Snapchat will be at the yeah. same concert. Yeah. Like when you're going through the stories, it's like, oh, I've seen everything. I've seen, I've seen it all. Seen I didn't miss show. anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in that, in that sense, and I'm not like, thank God I didn't go. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's true. It's, it's like, true. oh, yeah, I didn't some... waste my money on that. Yeah, because it's not, it's not, not all of them make sense. Not all of them make sense. And some people try and, I don't know, sometimes... Have you ever been somewhere, yeah? The event was dead. It didn't make sense. And then you see somebody Snapchat and you know that they also <laughs> did not have a good time. <laughs> but their slaps but you know, but, make but, it seem like... Yeah, but you see, obviously, you go... Although the event is dead, it's, life is about perception. Yeah. Because think about it. If that person is recording themselves, you know, dancing, and we'll be like, right, the thing look like what? Mm-hmm. It wasn't really live. It wasn't good. So it's so it's more about the yeah, perception and yeah. how people other people see it. See it. I can't deceive myself. <laughs> I can't make it look like I no, have a good time. Obviously, sometimes good you time. know sometimes when you're hurt inside, like why did I come to this? Like, but at the same time, man, I came out, so I need to make myself feel better. I mean, no, that's different. What I'm saying is yeah. like. There's some people, don't get me wrong, if I think an event is dead, there's going to be people that, that think this event is amazing. Yeah, yeah, don't it's get true, me. I'm it's not true. talking about those people. I'm yeah. talking about the people who, like, they... they you see know when I know. <laughs> you know when I know that I had, didn't have a good time and you did not have, <laughs> have a, a good time. good time, but you're still we're not, Yeah, we're not going to play around. <laughs> we both, we, we even made eye contact and said, this place it's does not dead. make sense. But you are there still <laughs> pretending... That is, you're having to a good time. To the world that you're having a good time. But that's, why? But that's, but that's how it is now, though. That's how it is. 
can't. You know what I mean? I can't. You know? I think I think it's frustrating for me, not when younger people do it, but when like people probably from our generation and older do it, because it's like, bro. You... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like this this life is new to you. It's, you didn't uh, grow up on this life. Exactly. So realistically, just just makes sense. Like it's always, it's always <laughs> the aunties and uncles that misbehave on Facebook. Oh my gosh. No, but do you know what? Do you know what the aunties and uncles need to change though? What? I'm gonna say this, yeah. They need to stop taking pictures, yeah, with the camera like, well, like this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> that needs to stop, right? We need to start a campaign to stop that. It's like I've seen it so I've seen it on Facebook, I've seen it everywhere. My mum does it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not very flattering. Yeah. Not many people can take a picture yeah. from down here and it looks <laughs> like nice. literally looking at it and then they will post it thinking, yeah, this is it's a selfie. You know? <laughs> They're doing bits. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we need to start a campaign about that, you know. Stop the aunties and uncle taking some crazy Post, selfies. Photos down here. <laughs> no, it's true. It's actually true, but I guess you have to teach them how to do it. Like, just raise the camera yeah. up, uh, like, you know, a little bit. Like, yeah. maybe up here. Yeah. But taking selfies is a skill. Not everybody's managed to master it, so... Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah. The only people that master it is, uh, yeah, very, I don't know, photogenic people. People who like pictures. Yeah, people who like taking pictures. There's some people who... And I think that to myself as well. I need to actually take more pictures. I think everybody should. Yeah, you do. I think it's you really do. important to take pictures, like... Because especially, you know, whether it be Snapchat or phone, yeah. I, like I know iPhone does, I don't know about Samsung and other phones yeah. as well, but it comes up with like memories, yeah, yeah. you know, kind of collates it yeah, together yeah. and it's nice to like see, oh, you know, a couple of years ago oh, on this yeah. day, this is what I was this doing. Is what I was doing. This, yeah. yeah, it's really important it's really to remember really good. that. It's really, really good. I mean, well, I, I was, I've got a question. You know, because um, I want to get a new phone. Okay. I'm in a dilemma, you know. You're asking me about phones? Why not? Okay. Because like, I don't know what Apple are doing in terms of they, they put out like is it three phones mm-hmm. in the space of what, a year and a half or so. Mm-hmm. Um, I like iPhone. The reason why I like iPhone is because it's user friendly. Yeah. But with Samsung, I believe that it's way better. Yeah, Sam- like, Samsung is better. Yeah. It takes better pictures. But I'm. But I don't think the Samsung is user friendly as the iPhone. Mm, okay. But, but do you think are you saying that because you've just been used to iPhone for years, or yeah. do you actually think that iPhone is genuinely user friendly mm. over over the Samsung? No, I think it's genuinely user friendly okay. over the Samsung. Samsung's got a lot of features, and and I think with Samsung you have to actually sit sit down and read the booklet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being serious because there's mm. so much stuff you can do on the on mm. the phone that mm. you wouldn't even know. Mm. You know, so yeah, I was just asking for your opinion. It's interesting that you say that. I had, I had to breathe because <laughs> with phones, like I, I've, I've had enough. I've actually had enough. First and foremost, the prices of phones are ridiculous. Oh, don't even get me started. I don't even know like where. So you want to tell me in a couple of years' time we're going to be spending five k on a yeah, phone or what? Like of what? What do you? What more do you people of course, want from us? Of course. Um, unless the phone can cook for me clean for me drive me to work (laughs) um you know these little things like i just feel like we're phones so i think if you're used to iphone then maybe just stick to iphone but the other thing i'll say is like do you really need to change the phone because i made a vow to myself yeah that i'm only going to change this phone when this phone is completely like gone because these people will not come and keep chopping my money like back in the day every year you know i wanted a new phone that now like first and foremost they all look pretty much the same yeah true so like i dropped my phone this well this this morning it smashed that's why i was even late coming in (laughs) (laughs) letting them know um like i was just i was so vexed like I dropped, I've dropped my phone this year probably about three times. Don't you have like a... Um, Protect. Skin protector. Yeah. Some, some, the first time I had it, um, second time I had it, I kept dropping it. But my skin... I don't know. For some reason, my phone, my, the skin protector doesn't save the, my screen. It's just everything just goes. You should apply it properly. Yeah. <sighs> but you know, you got like... You got these two different screen protectors. You got the one that just protects the screen. Mm-hmm. And they've got the one that actually protects the whole phone. Oh, yeah. I bought that because yeah. I dropped my phone. 
yeah. I dropped my oh my god <laughs> I dropped my phone and I've never you know I drop I judge people that like have smashed screens <laughs> I judge them. I feel like you're careless in life. Well, it's, see, it's a good thing I fixed my phone before coming. Yeah. <laughs> That's something that I can't... Like, I, I just can't... I'm like, no, arrange it. Like, what, what does your phone look like this, please? Sort it out. No, I've seen some crazy smashes. Yeah. Like, why, are you still, why are you still using that? Yeah, with, with pride. Yeah. Like, why are you bringing your phone up? Hide it. You know, when you're using it, you should turn your phone oh, on. I'm so happy. I'm, away. I'm so happy I fixed my phone before I came yeah. out. <laughs> I would be secretly judging you, not gonna lie. But, um, yeah, no, oh, no with that, you, the bullet is, I call it bulletproof case because that's what it looks like. I yeah. bought that, but it's, it's actually really annoying to use. Exactly. Um, I just think that there's certain cases that, that are good at protecting than others. Yeah. Like, this plastic case has never failed me. Um, the only reason why that phone broke or smashed, this yeah. phone smashed was because of the, I didn't have a skin protector and I didn't have a case as well. But all the other times, how many times I've, in fact, I didn't even before, I didn't have screen protector or um, a case and I, I would drop it on concrete, no smash. Mm, wow. I've dropped it on concrete before. I was like, wow, you know, you're that's, anticipating that's it's going to be, it's going to be shattered, but. God somehow, some way inter- uh, intervened and made sure that the phone. God loves you. <laughs> I'm telling you, I have my phone too. Because <laughs> he knows I judge people. But what? <laughs> so before someone jumps on you. Before someone jumps on me, I'm telling you that when my phone broke the next day, when it smashed, I, next day I went to go and fix it. They came and told me some ridiculous amount. I was like, oh, okay, just. Wow. But it makes you think, yeah, that all the, even these phones, like obviously all these new phones are coming out. Mm-hmm. They're so delicate, but you you think that, you know, the companies would, like, f- ensure that the phones, if you drop them... Oh, they don't care. They don't care. They don't give a damn. Like, people spend that much money. I mean, that's the first thing you should ensure, safety. It, yeah, but it's because we're the idiots that three, keep buying the phone. Look at every time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but... I've dropped, I've dropped them down the stairs so many times. <laughs> I've dropped it down the stairs. Yeah. You can even throw it down for fun. Exactly. It's going to bounce it's back. It's going to bounce back. Yeah. But I think it's just another way of making money, to be honest. Of course. They don't build things to last these days, whereas yeah. before they did build things to last. And, you know, people people with that for every 10... Somebody can have that phone for, for years oh, before they need to come and, and change it. And the battery it. lasts you for like a week. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you. Now we have to walk around with portable, portable charge, chargers, chargers, wireless and chargers, phone cases and all this stuff. Like, they know. They know what they're doing. Yeah. But also, I guess phones can do a lot more these days than they could before. But that being said, like, they need to sort it out. They need to sort it out. The I need a phone that's going to last me 24 hours. <laughs> no charge. What? Yeah, I feel. Do your iPhone last you twenty four? No, no, I'm saying we need that. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're gonna charge me a grand plus, yeah, that's a a very good idea actually. Make my phone last me for twenty four hours. That's a very, very good idea. Yeah, maybe should create one. (laughs) Yeah, I if I I, if I had the tech brains, I would. Maybe I could like um collaborate with somebody but I'll keep it quiet because you know these big giants don't like somebody else coming in new and that's not really cool. She's got a great idea. Let's. We've got the capital. Let's just take it and use yeah. it. Let's bring her in and then come and <laughs> try and steal my idea. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah. copyright all of that. But um, yeah. So I forgot about the nonsensical thing of the week. So have you thought about something? I mean, I'll go first because I'm the nonsensical thing of the week. Like yeah, I, I, cool. I, I don't make sense. Um. So my phone charger. Speaking of phones, um, when I go to work, it's me on my phone charger. Yeah. I don't even let anybody see that I have the charger before people start asking me. But yesterday, I got caught sleeping. Mm-hmm. And somebody asked, oh, is there a charger? And I felt bad, like my phone was charging there. I was like, yeah, yeah, you can use it. And obviously, because it was Friday, I just ran out. And I forgot to take my charger with me. And wow. I went into the evening, I was like, oh, and now it's the weekend, I've got to wait. <laughs> I'm going to go and get the charger. Wow. Yeah, I mean... So you forgot it? I forgot. Like, I'm just so upset. I'm actually upset. <laughs> Do you know where the charger is right now? I know where it is, but... And that one, like, I bought an Amazon one, so yeah. it's, like, great. It's not, like, the... Because iPhone chargers, like, they're trash. You know, they don't last long at all. Yeah. So the one I've got, like, it doesn't tangle. It doesn't get, like, oh, nothing. Yeah, yeah, okay. And it's, like, longer. I think maybe... maybe I need to get one of those meters. long chargers. Yeah, it's, like, only, a, like... It's not more than six yeah. or seven pounds. But, yeah, it's good. Like, a good charger. 
So yeah, I need I need that back. I hope nobody at work takes my charger because I'll be vexed. <laughs> I'll, I'll be angry. But yeah, I don't make sense. <laughs> well, I think I'll join you on that. You know, um, like I said this morning, I was on my phone, mm-hmm. and then my mum rang. Okay. And then I'm like, should I pick up? Should I pick up? While I was, you know, debating my head, my phone just dropped. <sighs> I should have just picked the call. <laughs> <laughs> I should have just picked the call. <laughs> so, my phone is on the floor now, smashed, and the phone is still ringing. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> so, that didn't make sense to me no. this morning. I hear that. And you know what happens to the best of us? It actually happens to the best of us. Oh, my gosh. So, yeah. So, how, was a good thing that fixed it before coming to see Alex? Before she says, why are you going to smash screen? No, I wouldn't say it. I would just <laughs> oh, you're going to Oh, that's, that's even worse. Yeah, I'll be like... That's even worse. I, I, I think if, if I keep seeing... Because you, sh- you should be like, oh, what happened to your phone? No, no, no. If I see you one time with it, <laughs> yeah, I'll be thinking in my head... Why? Why have you? Why is this thing smashed? If I see you again, wait, wait. (laughs) With that same phone. Imagine seeing the same person two months later. With the same. No, I have to say something. (laughs) That's gonna disturb my spirit. How? How dare you? It's even not good for your fingers. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It's like it's glass, and you're using. No, no, no. Come on. Come on. I've seen. I've seen some people. I've seen some people like that, man. Trust me. Mm-mm. Is it, you, mm-mm. you should be embarrassed. <laughs> you can't. You can't leave your house like that. Wow. No. Nah. It happens. People don't fix their phones two months, three months. Maybe they don't have the money to fix it. That's true. You know how it is now. Sometimes we mm. want something we cannot afford. Mm. But then, I can live it. It's true. I feel like okay. You, you, you see, some even I was watching. What was I watching yesterday? Um, well, the day before yesterday. And there was a documentary about um, the Michael Jordan's trainers mm-hmm. and how people queue up for like hours, even hours, days, days, <laughs> days. And people were like, you know, robbing people, stabbing people for these Jordans. All this madness. I'm like, wow. I'm like, just for two. And the, and the trainers like two thousand pounds, two or dollars. Well, two thousand some exclusive ones. Two thousand dollars for, yeah, some, for, for, for something that yeah. that's gonna touch the exactly. ground. Exactly. Like I was like. Why why are people queuing up so long and what like why are people just cleaning themselves for trainers? Mm. Like I, I just don't get all these things I don't get, you know, but it happens. Yeah, I think I mean I, same I, with the phones. Yeah, it's a it's a status thing almost, you know, oh if I have an iPhone or if I wear these particular um trainers, yeah. people will think more highly of me. I think that that's how a lot of people think because when I hear people talk about certain things, and I'm not saying having an iPhone is yeah. a status thing. Yeah. I'm saying people's maybe need to like constantly t- stay on top of the latest trends and to fit in, to almost to fit in. Like, don't get me wrong, some people are they they just love technology and yeah, they, true, they you true, know they kind of like true. research everything true. beforehand and like they're very much invested in the phone. Me? Yeah. I don't know. Neither do I care. I just need to know that the phone is gonna work for me and take <laughs> pictures and take right. videos, that kind of thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna pick you up on that. Okay, okay. say for example, okay, say um you're out, you're out with your girls and then okay, I don't know for yourself any or your girls, there's a guy who's using a let's say thirty three ten. Mm-hmm. And then I think he's a trap star. I'll I'll ask you <laughs> Why does everyone say I that? I think he's a trap star. In this 2019, we're using the 3310. Nah. It does the same job. It no, calls. I, no, it I, rings. No, listen. All right. Okay. Let, okay. Maybe, in this okay, 2019. In this era, all right. Um, let's. What's 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 a standard phone that it's got touch screen and you know? Okay. Let's say not. Let's say a phone that's not. Not the latest. Phone. Not the latest okay, phone. Okay. Yeah. Now, and that person goes and approach you to talk to you and they pull out this brick, you know, what are your thoughts? What are your the judgments? The brick that's not a 3310. That's not a 3310, but, but still a brick. But still a brick. I don't, I, I don't necessarily because the, judge... I, because the things I see these days, oh, it's crazy. What, what did you see? 
<laughs> All right, who's I'm asking? Yeah, I went, I went out um, with um, a couple of mates, and then we was out, and actually overheard this girl laughing at a guy with her friends, mm. and then she was like, "Can you believe he wants to talk to me with that kind of phone?" Oh, and I was just that's like, not nice. I was just like, that's not nice. No, nah, that's not. You understand? Nice. Yeah. You don't know if he has money. You don't know what he mm-hmm. what he does. You don't know. Mm-hmm. So I was just laughing. No, I don't judge people based off of the material possessions that they have. Like I'm not. That's not some. That's not me personally. Yeah. If I'm if I'm honest with you. Um. Same thing with cars. I'm not faced by what car you have, or if, or if you have yeah. a car. If you so if I, if everyone bungalow. <laughs> I'm not gonna. No, I'm, I'm not going to judge somebody based off the car. I tell you that no, for free. No, 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 no. I, but I will judge you if you're driving around the car and it's all like smashed up and dented in. <laughs> like your phone. I will, yeah, like your phone. <laughs> if you have something, I feel like you should carry it properly. Does yeah. that make sense? No, no, yeah. So whatever it is that you have, carry it and carry it well. I'm not here for you to have the latest iPhone, but it's all smashed up. I'm yeah. not rating that. Or you have a, a brand new Benz, yeah. but. The bumper is falling off. I can't. I can't rate that as as opposed to somebody who who they have things that's yeah, older, yeah, but they yeah, value their stuff. Value I stuff. like to see that people value what they have because yeah. that shows me that you value your time and your money and all those kind of things. So yeah. that's me personally. And sometimes when when people say that, um, are oh, who do you think he is? Um, who, who who does he think he is talking to me with that kind of phone? A lot of people, if you examine them. You're lacking yourself. Yeah, it's true. Because I'm not going to judge you off yeah, of material true. things. It's you true, are more true. as to me as a person yeah. than what it is that you have. But yeah, that would be the answer. So obviously, if some if somebody you know whips out some kind of phone or whatever car, like yeah, d- d- <laughs> the amount of times when you're walking out of the way, why do guys do this? I mean, I don't know. I don't go raving um, these days anyway. Yeah. To be fair, it's not. Yeah. I would rather be at home. Yeah. The last time I went with I was like, at two, I was like, I want to be. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, when you're leaving, that's when people want to be doing the most in cars. Like, I don't, I don't <laughs> care. I actually do not care. That does not phase me. It, like, yeah. good Seen for you. That. Oh, good for you. Great. Wow. But that's, that's, but I, it's just how the world is right now, though. It's just crazy. I think the world's always been like that. I think there's always think? been people that have been showy. I think, but the the only difference is now probably more people have more access to like means of getting things. Okay. So beforehand, like if we say twenty years ago, that yeah. was it was a big deal getting a Benz. Oh yeah. Do you know what I mean? A big big deal. A uh, big deal. Now, how many A classes? Like yeah. A, how many? And how many C class? C class. Mm-hmm. In fact, let's put A class to one side. C class. How many C classes do you see on the road? E class. All of them. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's it's much more accessible these days, like, you know, so it's not as big of a deal. Oh, great, you've got this car. Okay, good for you. Yeah, but think about it, like, back in the day, like, if, if you're not, if, if a guy's not driving, you know, we'll talk about, what, let's say, what, 15, 16, you don't know, if, if a guy, not 15, 16, sorry, but let's say 18, 19, mm-hmm. if a guy, if a boy's not driving, then, oh, I don't want to talk to you. You know, again, that comes down to the girl specifically. I don't think that that was but, but, that was ever a whole. Yeah, I don't feel like that was ever like universally women's standpoint on things. Yeah, back then it wasn't even that. Back then it wasn't even the case. I mean, now it's 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 crazy. What in terms of that? That's the dating pool out there. I don't know about the dating pool. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just asking, isn't it? Because this is what I see in it. I'm just like. Like I had I had a um, conversation with one of my friends, you know, and we was having a long ass debate about this, mm-hmm. you know. Um, I just think that obviously, it's vice versa. Guys has their own, like you said, guys coming out stunting, yeah, yeah. waiting in the, mm-hmm, you know. Mm-hmm. But it's what they think that you know women want to see or you know to attract. Oh yeah, but, fair enough. Yeah, but mm-hmm. I don't think someone should use that to attract. And it's about content of character. Yeah, don't get me wrong. I'm not mad at these guys when they're when yeah. they're driving around, like because immediately, how can you get somebody's attention? And for some, for girls who are, you know, attracted to that, nice things. Yeah, nice, nice things. Diamonds. But, <laughs> but that's not to say that somebody doesn't like nice things. I just don't care that you have nice things. Yeah. Because what we're not going to do is stunt on me with your nice things 
if that makes sense. I, I, I don't like that. I don't like it when somebody wants to try and use what they have against me. Like, yeah. I'll, I'll buy it myself. I'm going to buy it today. I'm going to buy it tomorrow, but I'm going to buy it. Game, and yeah. I, I, that's it. I don't like, you know, the whole, oh, I have this, you don't have that. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. that to me, if you're trying to stunt with, you know, whatever car you have, <laughs> automatically that's going to get yeah, on my nerves because yeah, that's yeah. making me think this guy wants to sit down and... I'm the boss. Um, yeah. <laughs> like, and I, 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 will, I will always have respect for my man, but what you're not going to do is come here and think that you're above me because you yeah. drive a certain type of car. Yeah. Sit down yeah. and keep driving. Yeah. Right. Like, so, but yeah, no. Some people, some people are okay with that, and I'm not mad at girls who see a guy with a car and they they like it. Some girls are really into cars. Yeah. You know, right. it's like, oh, yeah, you drive that yeah. car. Okay, cool. Nice. Like, you know, you you might so, start talking about the specs and yeah, all of so, that. Yeah, and, yeah, 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 yeah. Some girls are really ah, uh, uh, yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anything about anything. So, <laughs> so unless it takes me from A to B. Yeah, you're good to go. I'm good to go. I'm actually good to go. I that. I yeah, that. I, so I think in terms of cars, I've been humbled as well just by by living out of the country. But mm. it's what it is. Nobody can stand on me because I've seen the best of the best. Yeah, what is your I've actually seen the best of the best. <laughs> they don't joke out there in Dubai, yeah, man. They don't, your they don't your joke. pepe car doesn't make sense they to me. They don't joke. They don't joke out yeah. there, man. They got some serious things. And I've never saw an A class. What is that? What? I the, never saw an A-class. Bugattis, Lamborghinis. Yeah, Maseratis. Maseratis. Like, Maseratis. And I'd never seen a Maserati in person before I moved out there. Really? I hadn't seen it, like, in person. Wow. I, I kept seeing it quite Their frequently. cars are annoying. You can just hear them. Yeah, they they like quite big, yeah. quite big cars, to be fair. And even um, when I say regular people, I feel like, you know, people like me and you out yeah. there, if you want to buy, like, a nice car, you can. Yeah. I Like I said, I wasn't fussed about a car, so I didn't care. <laughs> I came here to stack my money. <laughs> and not spend it. I not spend it. And you're going to your stack country. Stack You people have got money as it is. Already. Let me let me build up my own. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, um, but yeah, let's get a little bit into you in terms of like, because I like I saw you last year and before that I haven't seen you for like years. Has it been a year already? Since this summer. Yeah, yeah, about that. Yeah, it has been a year. Um, yeah, so yeah, we're. Yeah. Hmm? So we're here summer now. Well, the summer, <laughs> summer outside. So, yeah, you the, know. the weather is trying. It's trying. It's trying, it's trying for us. We're enjoying, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So yeah. How like just kind of getting into you because I know that you, you like after uni, yeah. you never came back home. Yeah. Well, <laughs> who, who will go back? Who will go back home after after uni? I think I think more guys when they. Like finishing. Uni, okay, yeah, they, maybe more guys. They don't yeah. come back into the house. Yeah, the, the dynamics has changed. Dynamics has changed because obviously yeah. you know when you're in uni, you can um, like say it's two o'clock in the morning, you want to go for a walk, you know, want to clear your head or you want to think. Mm-hmm. But when you're at mom's house, if you open the door at two o'clock in the morning, it's like ah, where are you going? Yeah, kind of thing, you know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, want to go for a walk? Can't you walk in your dream? <laughs> <laughs> You know, you know <laughs> she probably says something silly like that. <laughs> you know, so the, like you said, the dan- dynamics are very different. Mm-hmm. You know, so and you can do what you want to do. Obviously, if you're going back home, you're staying under your parents' roof again. Mm. So they're gonna have rules and regulations, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. you're gonna feel a bit restricted. You know, so it's either that or just you know step up. Step up in the sense of what, like moving out. Yeah, in the okay. step of not moving back to the to the crib. So obviously, if you're not if I'm not moving back, you know you have to get a job, you have to sustain yourself, mm-hmm. you have to do what you need to do to you know get to the next level. So how were you able to put that together, like whilst you was in uni? You mean like so? Obviously, once when you need finished, did yeah. you come back home for like a bit? No, nah. or you just you just you you just stayed you just stayed there. You I did, didn't. I didn't even. You were done. Nah, so that's what I'm saying to you. Like, obviously, I commend you for that. Yeah. But how were you able to like pattern yourself? Because you? a lot of people are in the position that you were in back then. Yeah, and they want to know how to do it. They're like, okay, do you know what? This is the life I'm living. Yeah, I want to continue to sustain this I life. Mean, I, I don't want to go back home. I think what's important is. Anyone who's in the final year or, you know, listening to this or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I've, I, your last year is not thinking about what you really want to do in life. Mm-hmm. Like what kind of vision um, you have, what what you want to do. So, like, for example, you're the, you're the pro- product of your environment. Yeah. You understand? So, okay, me moving back home, 
Am I going to get a job? Am I going to start a business? Am I going to do this? Am I going to do that? So you have to weigh your options up. So what I've done is I'm like, okay, if I move back home, I'll be saving money, mm -hmm. you know, and I said to myself, what do I want to do? Okay, I want to do business. But, you know, if I want to do business, then I have to have a little bit of money in my pocket. Mm -hmm. I have to, I just finished uni. Let me get some experience working mm -hmm. in the professional world. You know, and then luckily when I finished uni, I got a job straight away mm. um, in a electric car company and um, did some te technical development. And I was there for four years. Mm. I was there for four years, and um, yeah, it was it was it was it was a good experience. But then it was not for me. Okay, you know, I can't. I, don't, I mean, I'm not against career. I'm not against anyone that you know, wants to work, mm -hmm. um, do the nine to five, you know, because if that's what you want to do, then mm -hmm. go for it. Because mm -hmm. there's, there's a lot of people that have excelled mm -hmm. in, in that, in, in, in that pursuit. So, pursuit, sorry. So, um, yeah. And then I just, you know, I said, okay, I'm going to start my own business. I started training people, mm -hmm. you know, started little, um, um, training kids, training Training women. kids to do like going to boxing. Oh, boxing. Sorry. Okay. Sorry, obviously, yeah, you know I was boxing. I was yeah. boxing for ten years. Yeah. You know, but I wasn't competing anymore. Mm -hmm. But it was a skill that I have. So I said, okay, how am I gonna put this skill to use, yeah. To use. Mm -hmm. You know, because when you have a skill you can make money. Mm -hmm. You know, so I started training people. I'll have like two people in the class. From two people to five people mm -hmm. to ten people, mm -hmm. and it kept increasing. And yeah, then I thought, okay, this this is good. Mm -hmm. And uh, what I found out was that I was making what I was making was actually kind of equivalent to what I was making. I was doing nine to five. Mm. You understand? So I was thinking, okay, like it opened my mind a little bit more. Yeah. So I was like, okay, you know what? The vision is, you know, maybe I should open a gym, and um, you know, train people, continue training people, hire trainers, mm -hmm. you know, to use my facilities and things like that. And then, you know, make my money. And, you know, so I had all that idea. So I was thinking me moving back home and I've got all these ideas, you know, I think I thought to my, and living, obviously, you know, I'm from Luton. Mm -hmm. it, it's way cheaper there, you know, in yeah, terms of live, like yeah. to live, mm -hmm. to rent, mm -hmm. if you want to even mortgage, buy properties, it's cheap, you know, cheap, way cheaper. You know, I thought, okay, let me, let me stick it out. And then, yeah, it's been nine years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, since, since I left mom's crib. Mm. So, yeah. You didn't look back. I didn't look back. Yeah, even my mom came, even my mom came down. She came, she's like, ah, let me see this gym that you are working. Mm -hmm. She came down, you know, and then when she came to my house, she's like, oh, you're living better than I am. <laughs> 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 you know, I'm like, no, come on. Go say, I got this money, you make me struggle. I said, no, I'm just trying to set myself, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. So I think she had a peace of mind mm. that obviously I showed her what I was doing and everything. She had a peace of mind, okay, he knows what he's doing. Mm -hmm. So I never got questioned, mm -hmm. you know. So yeah, it was, it's, it's, it's been, it's, it's not an easy journey. No. It's never an easy journey, no. but you have to be consistent and persistent. Mm. you know so by every any, anyone can do anything they want to do in this life that's true that's very very true yeah. i think you have to just be <clears throat> like focused on it yeah um, and it's a lot of people think obviously they fail and it, they beat themselves up about it i know i did you know but you know failure is not a bad thing no you if you you learn from it you yeah, learn from it yeah. It's not, yeah you have to learn from it mm -hmm. and obviously improve but it's everyone thinking like, oh my god, I feel up. No, 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 no. It's 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 an opportunity to be better. Mm -hmm. You know. So, oh, yeah. I like that. You said failure is an opportunity to be better. better. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Because if you keep, if you're, if very few people when they're doing well can say, okay, do you know what? Let me reflect on what I'm doing yeah. and see how I can get better. But when you're not doing so well, it forces you to think yeah. about what's yeah. not going well and yeah. therefore doing better. So yeah, that's a really good yeah. way to think of it. Yeah. yeah. I quite like. I quite like that way of yeah. thinking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you have to. You have, you have yeah, to, you have to take. You have to look at every thing as opportunity. Obviously, when when you know when you fail, but it's it's good. It's mm. good. I mean, I've I've learned a lot along mm -hmm. the way. I'm still learning. Mm -hmm. You know, but 
you know, God's grace, fingers crossed, everything. <laughs> yeah, no, keep keep doing what you're doing. Like uh, when you said that you had opened up a gym, I was like, yeah. oh my gosh, wow, that's good. That's a good. Like, what, what, what what the most from me being in uni to now, mm-hmm. I would say the most important thing I've learned yeah. is to ensure that you have a good companion around you. What like a business partner? Not even a business. Yeah, obviously, business is different from oh, okay. f- like someone's a true friend. Yeah, yeah. Someone you obviously trust. Someone who trusts you, you trust you, you trust them. Mm-hmm. You know, you have you know, you have a great relationship. It's hard to find a good. It's hard to find a good friend. Mm-hmm. You know, who's supporting everything. You know, I think it's very very important for everyone to, you know, understand that friendship is is also plays a big part. You know, because a lot of people, you'd be surprised, a lot of people go through a lot of things, you know, they have no one to talk to. Mm. You know what I mean? So, but it's it's not, it's not, it's, finding a good friend is not easy. <laughs> but, but do you know what? I'm I'm very blessed Yeah. Um, to have good friends. I, good. I really am. And I hold my friends very dearly. Yeah. Like, I appreciate, I appreciate all of them. Yeah, that's yeah, good. Yeah. But you're right. And I, I think in some people's friendship circles, there's a lot of, Envy. Oh, that's that one is common. Love that one, me. there's a lot of envy. There's a lot because you know what it is. It's like I, I, I said to myself, why do people ha- have jealousy or envy? You know, but what they don't understand is the sacrifice that person is making to ensure their goals and their dreams are reality. Mm-hmm. You understand? But if you're lazy. Mm-hmm. And you're not doing what you need to do, and you're focused on someone else. You're gonna fall behind. Mm-hmm. You understand? So, and then when that per- when your friend is lifting themselves up, and then you're just there in the corner being lazy and not working on yourself or using that to motivate you, mm-hmm. you know, you're gonna automatically have some kind of hostile feeling towards them mm-hmm. just because they're working hard. Mm-hmm. You understand? So, yeah, that's why I said, you know. Having a good companionship around yourself is important. Important, yeah. So, how that being said, how how would you say to somebody to like be able to spot a good friend? How like from your own experiences? Because I'm sure from you've all, had experiences yeah. with friends that were not great. Yeah, of course. And that's how you've kind of learned. Yeah. What a good companion is. Yeah. How? What kind of things do you look out for to say? Okay, this person could be a good friend of mine, or they can't. I, I look at character. Okay. I look at morals, I look at values and you, you can always, t- when you're conversing with someone, you can always tell if obviously if I'm like, like I'm talking to you now, mm-hmm. like sharing things, you can always tell the person vision, like what they mm-hmm. want to do, where they want to go, what they're aiming for, you know, and, and for me, well, my good friend, when I, like when I share my vision with, with him or when I say certain things. You know, of course, sometimes you, a good friend will advise you correct. Mm-hmm. You understand? Not from not from hate, but from love. Mm-hmm. You understand? So I look at all these things, character, you know, I look at a person's integrity, you know, all these kind of things I look at. If I don't, if I see signs and it's like a bit like this, it's about, mm-hmm. okay, you have to be cautious. Mm-hmm. You know, a person, yeah. You know, having a good, having discernment is kind of will help. Yeah, know, yeah, yeah, good discernment. Good discernment will Sometimes help. you learn... Yeah, from bad experiences. <laughs> yeah, you have to, you have to learn. You have to, <laughs> you have to learn. You have to learn. Yeah, but some people have got better discernment than others. Yeah. Um, and it's also good to listen to other people as well. Yes, you have to be a very good listener. Look, a good listener. You have to be a very good listener. Because sometimes when somebody is talking, they reveal something that they didn't mean to reveal. It's like, oh, okay. So this is how you really feel. <laughs> yeah. Okay, then you know. Or a circumstance, or something happens, and the true. Colors come out like you're like oh I didn't even know you was a bit like this mm. yeah what well, happens it happens it does and but also friends not every single friend you have is meant to be there exactly for your whole exactly. life exactly exactly you know people come in they serve their purpose yeah you appreciate the friendship for yeah. what it is yeah and then you move on you move on you know spot on <laughs> yeah that's it I haven't got time to to. <laughs> <laughs> to do yeah. all these nonsense stuff. Yeah, all these things that with with things and people that don't make sense. I think a lot of the time with some friendships you think, Oh, I've invested this many years in this person or yeah. I've done a lot for this person, but yeah. 
what has that person and it's not good to say oh yeah what has that person done for you but sometimes you have to do what has that person done for you oh wow you you've hit you've hit a very sensitive you know point there Mm. you know i've felt like that before definitely felt like that Mm. before and um even i was even having discussion with my uncle because he was even telling me the same thing that you know um him and his friend fell out Mm -hmm. Because I was asking him, I don't, I don't see him around no more. Mm-hmm, happened? Mm-hmm. What happened? He's like, man, I said I poured too much into the relationship. I wasn't, I wasn't getting anything back. Okay. Like, it's kind of draining, mm. you know. So it, it, it is a difficult one, especially if you, if you love someone, you truly mm. love someone from the heart, you know. And but I think it's about com- communicating. Because when I felt like that, I spoke to my friend. Mm-hmm. I said, this is the one I'm feeling, you know. I think honesty is very key as well mm. so it's not how i'm not saying out of envy i'm just saying this is how i feel yeah, yeah you yeah. understand being, so, being direct, being yeah. direct mm-hmm. and so yeah and then we had we had a discussion and yeah and then we both understood and we just kept to keep it moving but that's also a really important thing that you said because for me like and that is something that i've been working on yeah. but when somebody does something to me yeah i, I don't like confrontation I actually do not like confrontation. It's not something that I I, I want to avoid confrontation yeah. at all costs. Like, yeah. don't come to me with your... I'm like, I'm praying, please don't let this person come to me because I really don't want to have to deal with this thing. Yeah. And I'll try and, like, avoid it or manoeuvre it or whatever. Yeah. But I have a black book in my head and I'm doing tallies of the nonsense that you've done, like, strikes next to your name. And once it gets to enough strikes, I'm like, you know what, you can just go. Yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah. It, sometimes it can be a bit hard for me to, like, have that conversation yeah. with somebody yeah um but yeah it's really good that you said that and that's something that i'm learning that being said there's certain people that i'm not friends with that i don't think yeah yeah i, I, I mean I there's some there's, there's some continue to there's some be. there's some yeah. friend there's some friendship where like you said you can just you can let it go yeah bye. you can let it go like you don't have to say anything you can just mm-hmm. let it go mm-hmm. you know but i think there's some friendship where where there's where there's love is like like my, my mm-hmm. friend he's a guy I, I, I love him dearly you understand mm-hmm. and yeah i mean i think it's very important to communicate mm-hmm. very important to communicate you know it's all about trust about honesty like i said because i look at him as a friend i, I have for a lifetime mm-hmm. you understand but uh, you're definitely right some friends you can just like no nah, just let it go. I ain't got time. Mm-hmm. You know, so. You know, but you will know within yourself. Yeah, of course you will. You will know within yourself. Yeah, yeah. It all goes back to being like in tune and just reading yeah. off of energy as yeah. well. And that's something that I'm really grateful for. I feel like, you know, my, I'm very, very aware of what's going on with me. And if I'm not aware, it's like, you need to slow down. Yeah. Because my body's going to respond and tell me you actually so you need, need to, to slow physically down. slow down. Yeah. yeah? You yeah. need to be aware of your surroundings even when you're walking like you know too many of us walk with this mm-hmm. like we need to take on board what's take going on board of what's going you on know, and being alert as well just being alert and that's not to say that you're looking for trouble but anything you know just 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 there's something about being present in the moment mm-hmm. have you ever driven somewhere and you think to yourself how did i get from a to b yeah Oh my that god! That is dangerous. It's scary. <laughs> it's like it's how, scary. I don't remember anything. It's scary. I just literally. It's like your days. It's like yeah. you're just. Oh my gosh! It, it's, it's not asleep. It's you're not, not tired. You're not tired. You're, you're just, thinking, how did I reach here? You just re- yeah, yeah. You just got to your destination and you didn't. It's weird. I know. You were not aware of what's going on. So I've had that so many times. <laughs> yeah. So again, that's not being aware of what's going on. Yeah. And I know driving sometimes can be a pain. Oh, especially you just, way. Yeah, you just want to get to where you're going, yeah. but. You have, you do have yeah. to be. You, know. you have to be aware. How many people would know that somebody's chasing them? <laughs> there's, there's been times you you think will come and catch me to my front doorstep because I don't even know. Yeah, yeah. The same car's been telling you. No. You turn left, they turn left, right, right. Like no, you have to be, you, you have put, to be, you have to be aware. Yeah. Awareness is really, really good. It's really, mm. really good. Mm-hmm. You know, you have to be vigilant. I'm always well. I try to be mm-hmm. as vigilant as possible. But I suppose that comes with your boxing training. Yeah, you know, that one, yeah, it comes with the territory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm so like, it, anywhere I go, I'm, I'm looking, I'm turning, I'm like, okay, cool. And I, I know all my surroundings. Mm-hmm. Well, it's, it's, you know, I've been doing it, so. Do you feel like you had to do that as a guy, like growing up? 
like when you went out to raves or whatever, did you feel like you had to be aware of the surroundings to avoid trouble? Yeah, yeah I mean, okay. you have to, yeah, you, no, yeah, you're definitely right. I mean, like, if you're going out with your guys, like, obviously, like me, I don't, I don't drink, mm -hmm. you know, I think it's very disgusting. <laughs> but when, <laughs> but when I do, it's just like, you know, when I did, it's just like sip, you mm -hmm. know, so, but like when I'm, when I'm out, you have to be because you don't know mm. Cause especially how the generation is these days and yeah especially my little brother as well i'm telling him you know when you go out there just like for example if you're out you need to use your phone use it quickly like i mean for him mm -hmm. you understand use it quickly put it back in your pocket mm. you understand don't be flaunting and stunting mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. you know we have to be vigilant vigilant you have to know your surroundings it really helped mm -hmm. when i was when i was growing up mm -hmm. you know, I, I got a lot. I got out from a lot of trouble mm. by just being vigilant. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, yeah it's good. You know. It's good to be aware. Good to be aware of yourself. <laughs> good to be aware of others as well. And then you can just remove yourself exactly. from the situation. Me that doesn't like confrontation. I'll just oh, this sound. This seems like it's gonna be a problem. Okay, let me just. <laughs> But some things you have to confront. Yeah, and of course. And I, I've learned that. And this yeah. this year, I one of my New Year's resolutions was to say what I need to say with my chest. Yeah, say your chest. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we say, say your chest. With my chest, yeah. for real. That, and that is what I've been doing. Like, you know, if something is bothering me. Yeah. Um, but do you, know, do you know who I practiced it with? Like, because I was, I was I, like you as well. I don't like confrontation. I don't want, mm -hmm. I just, I just like look past it. I just, I practice with my mum. Mm -hmm. I just say what's in my heart. Mm -hmm. I say with my chest with love with love with love <laughs> with love with love obviously you no can't come just, on you can't <laughs> obviously you don't you don't you don't you don't, you don't go because <laughs> I know sometimes with parents yeah you like if you really want to say what you want to say it's like what yeah <laughs> no but I mean just practice it you know like what like for example like sometimes when I will tell my mom little white lies you mm. know but I just now it's just just say how it is mm. You know what I mean? Oh, I'm coming, not coming. Um, mm -hmm. This and this, you know. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, and I think sometimes we do that in order to like make people happy. Yeah, 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 yeah. And because if if you tell people how you how it really is gonna yeah. be, you know that there's gonna be some sort of issue, and that's what it is with me. In the form of when the confrontation comes, because I'm trying to avoid it, I'm yeah. gonna do what I can to to yeah, avoid yeah, it yeah, and because yeah. I don't want to be in that position in the first place I'm annoyed that you're even putting me in this position that you could potentially confront me yeah, I don't yeah, want that yeah because I wouldn't do it to you that's how I am I, I, I genuinely do believe that you know I try my best to make situations accommodating for people but I've also had to sacrifice myself in doing that yeah so now it's like mm -mm, not anymore <laughs> yeah. yeah that's good I feel better keep working on it yeah yeah this, this is the thing with with life like it's a constant um no you have to you have to constantly work on things and yeah. you know eventually you see the result it's true eventually it's just consistency mm. yeah and that's the hardest thing mm. that's mm. Right, consistency mm. is the hardest thing and also don't be like be open-minded you know to try new things like for example look at um idris elba mm -hmm. yeah the guy does so many different things, mm -hmm. you know, acting, music. He takes risks, you know, and it pays off. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. <laughs> that one. Like, I'm not, I rate, I rate Idris. No, I Idris, Idris is a I bad boy. Him. He's a bad boy. Yeah, it's that, it's that aspect that I, I'm like at your big age, but it's okay. What do you mean? No, no. He, do you know, let me tell you, do you know how much money, I'm, I don't understand how much he's made from that song. I, what the no i don't have an issue with him yeah. being on songs yeah because i know that obviously he comes from a deep like yeah. he used to dj back in the day i, know, I, know, so I never knew he used to okay, dj okay no I, i've always known that i know that um, oh, okay. he has a very heavy like music background I, yeah. I don't have an issue with him um hopping on the music yeah. thing and like the songs that he's he's been featured yeah. on like they're quite catchy it works for yeah. him that's cool um i just I, he's the godfather <laughs> there's just something about him that i just think is wayward like <laughs> yeah he's a bit wayward <laughs> like, yeah you need to to pattern that but no i'm i'm here for yeah. people with their hustle like if you're gonna yeah. the, the acting the music all of that stuff yeah. you just keep doing your thing and everybody else keep doing your your thing there's yeah. there's enough space for us to all flourish yeah. i'm not gonna oh yeah i was gonna um tell you something about you know the something that didn't make sense mm-hmm 
So I can't remember if I told you when I went to Surya in December. Mm-hmm. Um, I fell off a uh, Okada. Oh God. For those of you who don't know what Okada is, it's um, bike. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Not push bike, a motorbike. A motorbike. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, what? Well, push it. A <laughs> motorbike. Um, so yeah, I dislocated my shoulder. I oh went gosh. to one of the hospitals and the doctor was literally trying to use his foot to put it back in place. That didn't make sense. <laughs> that didn't make sense. Yeah, you can't afford to break your bones and oh, be sick gosh. in like... I just remembered it. Yeah, it's just... Oh my gosh. It was painful. They couldn't even fix it. Okay, so what happened? So you came back to this country? Uh, to yeah, home? like... They was talking about putting me to sleep. I was like, it's cool. I'll just catch an emergency flight back. So how did you deal with the pain? <sighs> it was it was it was difficult, but uh I'm I'm a fighter, so I'm used to pain. Mm. Yeah, so it was alright. Oh my god, it was one horrible woman. One two horrible women actually on the flight. So where I was sitting, because obviously I'm I'm traveling with my mm-hmm. I'm down, all mm-hmm. dislocated and everything. Mm-hmm. And I had one little tiny rope that they gave me back home. And they even charged me. They, they charged me for the rope, you know. <laughs> no, they charged me. Alex, they charged me for the rope. Do you know how the guy done it? Do you know how the guy done it? Like, the, the rope was so... The rope was like this. Like, and you know... You know what <laughs> rope is? <laughs> you know what I mean? Because they, they're supposed to give you a proper brace. Oh, they <laughs> gave me a rope. They tied me with rope. And then, so I'm leaving now, and then the guy just, you know, obviously I won't speak my language, not everyone will understand, but basically the guy said, oh, basically, bros, you know, the rope, you know, 5,000, you know. How much is 5,000? 5, 5,000 is like, ah, oh, 5,000 Leons is like, maybe 50p? 50p, okay. Yeah, 50p, because 10,000 is one pound, yeah, 50p. Mm-hmm. 50p, you know. I'm like, are you really going to charge me for the rope? Like, I can't... You lot try to kick my arm back inside. Couldn't do it. I'm in pain. You lot give me... You still give me a sling. Give me a rope. And then now, you're, you're charging me for the rope. I was like, wow. I was like, wow. So, yeah. Yeah. So, what happened with the two women on the yeah, plane? Yeah, the two men on the plane. So, where, I, where I, my seat was allocated, um, another guy was sitting there. Mm-hmm. So... I don't know. I said, you see my seat. He said, someone see my seat. I was like, no, I can't even be bothered with all this. Oh, my days. Like, Coming home on African oh, flights is actually stressful. I'm telling what? you. I'm like, Nobody obeys the seating oh, thing. Oh, my, my days. Gosh. Like, it was oh, so... It's not every time. So, I call, I, so they were, was there talking, the debate, and I said, so when am I going to sit down? He goes, well, someone see my seat. And then when you go to that person, that person's saying the same thing. You know, I'm saying, I'm like, okay, cool. So I found someone to sit down, a bit of leg room, a bit of space, nice, nice and chilled. And then one woman comes with his son, and then I was sitting in her seat. And then next to me, there's one seat available. Mm-hmm. And where the guy is sitting, there's one seat next to him. But mm-hmm. I couldn't sit next to him because it was so mm-hmm, cramped. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, oh, I'm sorry, this is basically what's happened. And... Um, I dislocated my arm. She could clearly see I dislocated my arm. You can, sl- you can clearly <laughs> see how. Yeah, I got the rope, and you can. I'm talking. I'm, I'm just like this, looking at her begging, like, <laughs> <laughs> like you know. And then she was like, "I don't care. That's it. It's for me and my son." I was like, oh, "Come on, like, hear me out." Like, I'm like, "Okay, I said, can your son sit next to me?" And obviously, you can sit where the guy is sitting mm-hmm. next to the guy. Mm-hmm. Obviously, you can still you still have vision. You can mm-hmm. see your son. Mm-hmm. She's like, no, 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 no. I was just like, okay, cool. So one of the flight attendants came down, saw the whole commotion, and then she said, okay. She moved me um, to another chair, mm-hmm. another seat. So I was sitting there. There was a little girl and her mother. Mm-hmm. And then I'm dead. I'm just there like this. Like, I'm just there. Minding like, your business. Minding my business. Mm-hmm. And then the woman just calls the flight attendant and then she's, I don't know what she said to the woman. Mm-hmm. And then the woman, the flight attendant came to me and goes, oh, you know, I'm so sorry, but, you know, the woman is not happy you sitting next to, 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 to her daughter. Are these Sierra Leonean people? Yeah. I'm like, what have I done? 
And then Luma said, I'm sorry, but you have to, you have to move. You have to move. You have to move. You have to move. You can't sit there. You know, you see, you know, you see, you see, this, here's space is very little. You have to move. Sorry. You know, <laughs> what did I don't, they want you to do to stand? I was like, what? And she was so rude. I'm mm. like, why are you, why are you doing this? Mm. Like, and then she was being so rude. And, and then one woman, one flight attendant came, she was so lovely. Mm. And she could see that I'm in pain. She goes, she just, she just apologized to me. So, you know what? I've spoken to the captain. And put in business class. Yeah. Well, see, you see? <laughs> Yo. You see? Yo. See, I, how do you feel now? How do you feel now? You're bad. Yeah. You're bad. Shame. And we'll get off. We'll get off the flight. Yeah. We'll get off the flight. Um. The the flight attendant said, obviously, because of your arm, just mm-hmm. wait. You just wait because we got a. Wound. Okay. So you saw everybody come up. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I was I was all spread out. <laughs> I was spread out the bed. I was just like this. And the woman, the woman was walking past me. Both women was mm-hmm. walking past me. I looked at them like this, like. You know, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, you see, you're not saying, you're not all right. <laughs> Take care. You know, and the, you could see the, the hate on their face, man. I just didn't get it. Yeah. Like, so, sometimes people can't be understanding. I just don't get it. Mm, it's not good to be, like, mean. Look at what happened. Yeah. You got a great world. I'm waiting for... God, I see what you're doing for others. <laughs> <laughs> when am I going to be upgraded? Every time I fly, I'm like... Please nah. let this be the day that economy is all like oh packed out God. and you guys, you know, upgrade me oh to business days. or first or whatever. Like, come on, man. Because the flight was in that full and then obviously it won't, the business was empty. Mm-hmm. Come on. To them as well. Come yeah. on. You, you've already prepared everything to. You know what I mean? So that was, that was a good experience. You know, that flight attendant, I can't even remember her name. She was so lovely. She's French. She was so mm-hmm. That was very lovely. See? I enjoyed the flight. Wheelchair picked me up. I didn't even do anything. Mm. When I entered the UK straight hospital. Okay. Two minutes it took them. Two minutes to fix my arm. Two minutes. We take it for granted though. I yeah, know. We do take it for granted our like, you know, our NHS system. That's why I said, you know what? Heads up to England, mm. man. We take it for granted. Yeah. For real. For real. Yeah. Even my mum when she when she she broke her foot. I don't know what's going on. To take time. <laughs> no, no, Too much enjoyment. Well, I mean, it's, it was, I, I <laughs> no, 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 I'm playing around. Like, but yeah. you, should, you should go. I mean, it was. It I haven't was, been for ages. I don't know for years. It, it was fun. I want to go um, Nigeria next year. Yeah. yeah Nigeria, Nigeria is a good Nigeria and Ghana. Yeah, Ghana. Uh, I think yeah. I think I'll go to Ghana. Put your country there. Your other country there. Put it there. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, I, do you know what it is like? Ghana has consistent light. Yeah. No, you know what? Funny enough, when I was there, the light didn't go off. I didn't have a generator. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That, no, I won't say the light, they've, like, they've improved. If light goes off, it's like for one second. It goes off like this and comes back on. Oh, that's really good. No, yeah. I'm, we're Sierra Leone. That's not my crap. I'm saying Nigeria. Oh, Nigeria. I know, oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, Sierra, no, Sierra Leone, they're, they're doing, they're, like, they're doing a lot, a lot of improvements. I've heard like a lot of good things that they're doing. So yeah, yeah that's good. Just keep We've still got a lot of work, but yeah. one step at a time. Yeah, no. Nah, so long as I hear that you're improving, then that's all that matters yeah. to me. Like Rome was not built. But in what a day. one needs to change is the mindset of the people. You need to change the mindset, and that's the hardest thing to change. Mm. Because if people change their mindset, then the country can be better. Yeah, you just have to get rid of all of the. There's so many corrupt people but, that as soon as when you try and change things, it's like, oh no, this is going to disturb my normal. So yeah. we don't. So, but the big question is, how do you how do you stop corruption? How do you fight corruption? Uh, well, it's, it's, I it's, have it's, I have a solution, but I don't think I can say it on the podcast. Why? Because it's controversial. So. What? That's, you know what? That's 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 even better mm-hmm. for the for no, the, bo- me, for the podcast. Think, I don't think I'll, I'll tell you personally after. I'll tell you how uh, she got rid of these people. I will tell you after. No. I'm not going to tell you that. <laughs> even if it's controversial, no. it's even better. Mm-mm. How do you know that solution is not the solution? No, because that solution is is is. Do you know? Do you know? Do you know? Do you know what African need? What? We need we need the, we need radical leaders. Yeah, yeah. I not agree. politicians. Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't believe in politicians. But anymore. also, you need people that like love the country. Not even love the country. No, you also need people that love the country because there's some people like. I, when I when I look at countries that have developed in a short period of time, yeah. and you look at the leaders, like the leaders are very much here for the country, yeah. and they're like the changes that are being put in place. I might not see them in my lifetime, yeah. but I know that if I 
set people up in the right way they're yeah. going to continue this after yeah. me this is bigger than me yeah. so you also need that so yes you need radicals i think in the beginning to kind of wipe out everybody that doesn't make sense get them all out yeah and then afterwards you need to kind of but also you need them working side by side by the people that really love the country yeah. don't be sugar coating everything let everything out they're better the they're better man <laughs> the solu- I'm, t- I'm telling you i'm gonna tell you the- i'm not telling you now Why not? <laughs> i'm not telling you now <laughs> you're not bomb everyone <laughs> What do you want to do? That might be a solution. <laughs> Wait, just, get, just bring everybody into, into, one, into one room. Tell them, yeah, that they were going back to get a raise. I just... No, just, boom. No, just drop one bomb. Finish. <laughs> like, all of them, they have to go. That that should be round one. There, there should be another one just to make sure that we, everyone that wasn't... Like, that yeah. you didn't get the first time. Get the second time after. Because there's just too much. Yeah. There's too many people. And whenever somebody new comes in who's got fresh ideas, who wants to move and shake, yeah. they get rid of them. They have to yeah. kill them, threaten them, demote them. It's not fair. Like, yeah. yeah. Africa but, as a whole, like... Because one... See, what me, for me, what don't make sense. Like, what I like what you said. Obviously, you know, you need to love the country. Mm-hmm. Yes, that plays a part. But I think the most important thing is that, because I believe that the best investment you can make is to invest in people. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. and if you can, it's like, you, it's, okay, it's like, for example, how can I put it? You can teach someone how to fish, mm-hmm. not give them the fish. Oh, yeah, yeah. You understand? Mm-hmm. For example, I can give you fish, you eat the fish, then. Tomorrow I come back and say, yeah, well, fish don't fish. Which part fi- to you? To fish, fish yeah. is finished, you know, yeah. you understand? So. You teach them how to fish. Mm-hmm. So then next time they can go fishing for themselves and they can make bread, you know. But I just think that the mind, we need leaders, man, to help change the mindset of people. Because we're, we're still stuck in some mindset. We're still stuck. That's why we're not moving forward. Mm. You understand? And obviously greed as well. It's greed. Greed as it's well. It's greediness because you get people that come in. That's why I'm saying you have to love the country as well because yeah. somebody could be a radical leader. You see? When money comes in, yeah. somebody said, it doesn't change you. It just reveals who you always were. Wow. Wow. That's deep. It is deep. <laughs> it is. That's money deep. can't change you. All of a sudden, like this this something, your the number in your account, it don't yeah, change. It just reveals really who well. you were always meant to be, ultimately. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Poverty can humble somebody. Trust it can me. really humble you. But when you get the money, like, you revert back to how yeah, you yeah. were meant to be. Yeah. So... Yeah, that's why I said you have to love the country. Ultimately, by loving the country, you love the people, you love the resources, you love, you know, all of that. You have this pride. And I feel like when you do that, then you're going to be doing what you're talking about, you know, teaching people to do things and moving forward. And you're always with the mind frame, like, this is bigger than me. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to see all the changes whilst I'm here. But when I pass on the baton or when it's my time, I know that I did my part. And whoever's coming in I want to see the changes whilst I'm here. That's... I get that. You know, how, okay, you've been in Dubai, right? Yeah. How long did it take to um, complete Dubai from just sand? 30 years. Yeah. Th- but, okay. Yeah, about 30. Yeah. 30 years. 30 years. 30, 40 years. But Sheikh Zayed, who they don't joke about with again, in yeah. terms of him being a visionary. Yeah. Like, he never got to see the Burj Khalifa being built. True. So there's a lot of things that have been put in place after. Yeah, yeah. That he passed away before these things took place. took place but he took that step to say okay let's be united yeah, yeah. Um, and let's all join together and do yeah. these things and look at them they're on on the map they are literally a speck yeah but the all all the world yeah. knows about the UAE they all know <laughs> yeah, it's Dubai. how many people do you talk to about um, that place I don't um, know they all um, know about it because they 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 had a vision for their country yeah do you know what I mean and the leaders love the their people the they con- love the country yeah, yeah. they're invested in those people mm-hmm. they bring the best of the best in mm-hmm. and even like the fact that so many people expats are able to live there oh when they've managed to steal all of our information they're going to tell us to get out yeah they're going to tell us to go back home we don't no, need you anymore don't need we've anymore. trained yeah, our own yeah do you know what I mean so they they've been working smart and whenever I look at countries, especially Nigeria, because when I go to when you go to Nigeria and you go to Dubai, you can see that there are similarity, yeah. like similarities in many many things. Like in the let me say UAE instead of Dubai, because obviously it's a whole country. But it's like oh, look at, and the thing is, Nigerian, yeah, 
they're giants. Like it's just obviously it's a shame. It's just there's like, just so many shame. different loopholes. So many smart people, intelligent yeah, yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. Like anyway, I just I think like gen- Nigerians, yeah, you guys are really really intelligent yeah I mean, brilliant people brilliant people brilliant people go hard you or know, go home in anything that you're doing yeah. in this life always want to be the best but never carry last the, it's the mindset yeah it's the mindset and this is what i'm saying to you in terms of the, the money people get money and they they reveal their true colors yeah. and they there's a lot of selfishness and greed mm-hmm. greed mm-hmm. there's only so much uh, let's be honest if you have five cars, you can't drive all five. It's true. If you have ten houses, you can't live in, in all ten. It is not possible for it's you true. to live in all no, ten. True. Even wife, if you want to go and carry six wives, <laughs> you, you you cannot manage yeah, six wives at one time. time. Nobody yeah, can yeah, do yeah, that. Yeah, true. It is greed that makes people <laughs> over. Six times. Since, yeah, how, how can you, you're gonna be tired. You're a human being. You're not a robot. Yeah, like, it's not physically possible. It's true. So. You know, like, we also, as human beings, we have this responsibility to, like, just do what we need to do to get by yeah. um, and sustain. Yeah. Anything else. Sustain and maintain. Yeah, ju- just sustain. Yeah, like you said, sustain and maintain and yeah. maintain that. Yeah. A lot of, like, society has sold us that we need more than we really need. We don't yeah, need it's more. True, it's, true. it's not by force. It's true. Yeah. It's true. Like, and that's why I feel like 50 years ago, 60 years ago, people were happier because... So long as I've got, you know, somewhere to lay my head, as mm-hmm. long as I've got a family, oh, family, as long as I make money. Yeah, it's true. I'm good. But now there's so many things that have been added on top of that. <sighs> it's great. And the thing is scary. Do I even see the generation going? Mm-hmm. It's just, it's so, so scary. Like, it's just, but, you know, I've got my, obviously my brother's generation, you know, mm-hmm. I'm just praying for them, you know, everything's going to be okay. Because it's just crazy now. But I still want to push you on this solution, but... I'll, I'll tell it. you after. <laughs> I will, part, of, part of it is bombing everybody. I, so, I'll tell you that for free. Oh, part of it is bombing everybody. Oh, so you want to eradicate... You want to kill people off. I, why are you saying it loud? <laughs> <laughs> why are you saying it loud? Okay, I understand why. Okay, I'm understand? getting it. I'm getting so it. I'll, getting I, will t- I will happily explain to you like after, <laughs> but yeah, not now. But, you know, I wouldn't be mad. I'm not saying I'm going to be the one to, to, to press the button, but... Yeah. It's a solution, you know, yeah. to get rid of everybody. That or you ship everybody to another country or put them all in prison. <laughs> put them all in prison. Game. Start again and make sure <laughs> that they cannot buy bail to get out. <laughs> like you're, you're going to be seen through the justice system and you're going to be locked up. Like, but yeah, so... Yeah, we've awesome. come to the end of the show. Wow, awesome. Yeah. yeah, thanks very much. No, it was awesome. Thanks for having me. For coming on. One more time, like, what is your Instagram? Ayomi Hardin. That's A-Y-O-M-I-H-A-R-D-I-N-G. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nice and easy to remember. Yeah. And again, you can follow the podcast on Twitter and Instagram. That's Advice with Alex. Please make sure that you subscribe as well if you're watching on YouTube or if you're listening on Spotify or Apple Podcasts. And you can follow me personally at From Alexandra X on Twitter, Instagram. If you feel like it, do Snapchat as well. So yeah, on that note, um, we've come, like I said, to the end of the show. Thank you very much for Thanks appearing. For me. So quick disclaimer, it's not bad for us for you to take our advice, but if you know that <laughs> you want to well, how do I summarize it this time around if you know that you want what's best for you it's good to be obviously in tune with yourself yeah. and kind of strategize what it is that you yeah. want to do in terms of moving forward so yeah thanks very much you're welcome and on that note just to say life is about love it is God is love God is like oh yeah well that's nice so yeah <laughs> life is about love but also watch people as well sorry you have to watch people (laughs) you actually have to watch people like you can love people just because you love somebody doesn't mean you need to be around them yeah no of course of course of course of course stay Stay. i I will love you from a distance Distance. there you go so yeah that's the final thing right guys bye take care